Hey, what is going on, big dreamers? Your lady vitamin Katie is here, and today I'm going over one of the most essential nutrients that I have noticed most people when they first start working with me, they're low in. They're low in this essential nutrient, and that is essential omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids, I'm gonna be going over what are they, the best sources, and how to optimize getting them in, all right? I'm a registered dietitian. I help women, I help women build muscle and feel healthy, confident, and strong with a plant-based diet. So what are omega-3 fatty acids? Omega-3s are one of the two essential fats. We've got omega-6s as well, and omega-6 fats are pretty abundant. Omega-6 are high in olive oil, which people use often. Almonds, most nuts, nut butters, um, pretty much all of them contain a good amount of omega-6. Um, avocados, so omega-6, people tend to be doing just fine in those. They're all essential as well. However, the omega-3s, aren't as abundant. It, they're not as abundant, so it's important to be really intentional about making sure we are getting enough omega-3s, okay? And why are they so important? They are essential because our bodies cannot produce them. We need to take them in from food, whereas saturated fat with the other fat backbones and the other carbohydrate backbones, we're actually able to create our own saturated fat from different precursors. And the omega-3s, these are the precursors to the longer chain essential DHA and EPA, which are incredibly important for our brain health, for our heart health, and reducing inflammation in the body. Very important to get our DHA. That's why it's recommended to have fish or take fish oil because of the heart and brain health benefits from the DHA. But we do not need to be contributing to overfishing of the oceans or to be worried about rancidity of our fish oil supplements because we have lots of other sources. So let's talk about the other sources. What are the best sources of omega-3s? My personal favorite, hemp seeds, also walnuts. There's a reason why walnuts look like a brain. Such a good source of omega-3 essential fats and they're really important if you're pregnant, if you're breastfeeding, to prevent Alzheimer's, to help with focus and cognitive function, to get in those omega-3s, all right? So eat about a quarter cup of walnuts. Should be good depending on your age, your height, what disease process you are dealing with. A quarter cup of walnuts should be fine, about two to three tablespoons of hemp seeds, perfect. Also chia seeds and flax seeds. Now there's something really unique about chia and flax seeds in that they have to be either soaked or ground for us to absorb the beneficial essential omega fats. And they need to be kept cold. So I wanna show you this bag, this hemp seed bag. It says refrigerate after opening. That's because polyunsaturated omega-3 fats are very, very unstable and they need to be kept cold as opposed to saturated fats like coconut oil or butter. These are solid at room temperature and they're pretty safe to cook with. You do not want to cook with polyunsaturated fats. They're going to become rancid and cause oxidative stress and inflammation instead of reverse our inflammation, right? So we want to keep our polyunsaturated fats. You will never see flax oil or hemp oil not in the refrigerated section. They should be refrigerated. Those oils are really sensitive to heat, so don't cook with them. And um, your flax and your chia, I think the best way to get those two in is in a smoothie. Because in a smoothie, they are freshly ground and they're in liquid so that they can soak that up right away. So not only are you soaking and grinding, but it's fresh and fresh is really great. You don't, it's okay to have ground flax, like to purchase flax meal, that's that's okay. But I just don't think that's, it's, it's not as good in my opinion because it's becoming, um, you're exposing each grind to, to more oxygen, so it has more likely to become rancid and not be as beneficial, whereas when you get the whole flax seed and you grind it fresh, it's gonna be better for you if you wanna be a food snob, food police like me, or get your hemp seeds, get your hands on some hemp seeds. So that's how to optimize getting them in, all right? Get walnuts, flax seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds. I also, here it is, my omega supplement. So did you know that algae actually does produce its own DHA? So you can get DHA from algae oil supplements. I really like this um, super omega pure algae. 
this is the one I'm taking right now. You can get a discount using code vitamin Katie. And um, yeah, algae oil supplements are great. I like to do both, get in your hemp seeds and take a supplement just for peace of mind, all right? Because it is, it varies from person to person how well you are able to convert the omega-3s into the DHA and EPA, depending on are you taking in too much fat in your diet in general? If you're eating like lots of coconut, lots of avocado, and lots of all these fats, and just having like one or two tablespoons of hemp seeds, the conversion rate of omega 3s into DHA and EPA probably isn't gonna be very good, right? It also depends if you have diabetes, other stuff going on, so it's a good idea to take a supplement. And, um, that's pretty much it. I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you are intentional about getting in hemp seeds, chia seeds, flax seeds, walnuts, getting a supplement. I'll leave the link to get that supplement down below and some other options that I like. And give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what questions you have. And um, yeah, really, really important. Brain, heart, brain health, heart health, feeling your absolute best. Also, this has a lot to do with mood. It's not just about focus and cognitive function, just noticing that omega-3s, they have a lot to do with our happiness, our stability in our mood. So really prioritizing this, you'll probably feel a lot better, okay? Sending love, hope this helped, bye.